what if you could prompt AI and ask to build for you some of the best UI that you could ever build? What if you could use that code and put it into a different tool to develop the backend, the functionality, and everything else that you need to do? That's exactly what we're trying to do in this video series. Today is day one of this video series in which I'm exploring AI tools that could perhaps build me a SaaS application that I could use to sell to customers, or in this case, give away to somebody from the community. Today, we're going to be using V0 to start developing the prototype for the design for this SaaS application. With that being said, if you want to be the lucky winner for that is going to get this SaaS application, I will leave down a comment in down in the comments below. And there you enter your name, email address, and why you should earn it. And I will consider it the best answer will win this SaaS application or whatever it is that we end up building and you will get the full code. With that being said, what we're trying to do today is we're trying to prompt V0 to build a dashboard, specifically a dashboard for a SaaS application that allows users to build their own e-commerce stores. So we're talking something along the lines of Gumroad slash and Shopify, something that will make it easier for anybody to go and build their own store in minutes and that will include some templates and we will include some dashboards for the user to manage along with some other functionality that we will be discovering along the way. In this video series, we will be using V0 by Vercel to get some inspiration for the design. Number two, we're going to be using some Figma UI templates that I have purchased in the past, including Hope UI among others. Number three, and more, most importantly, we will be using Bolt.new to build the functionality and the logic behind this SaaS application. With that being said, this will be a ride. This will take probably a few days to complete and some research on my side that I will be doing um, outside of this video series to make sure that we're building that functionality, that make sure that we're prompting the AI with exactly what we need. But I hope that you like these videos. And if there's something that I'm missing along the way, please let me know down in the comments below. And while we're at it, um, please consider liking this video. It helped me reach more people. And at the end of the day, the more people I reach, the better, the more views I will get and the better videos that I can um, produce later on. Uh, with that being said, I will jump right into the build and let's see what we can get done. All right, here we have V0 by Brazil. This is the AI system that we will be using to build this uh, new application. So we're going to prompt it. So we're going to ask to create a super admin um, dash for an application similar to found road pen lemon squeezy or a SAS application actually or an e-commerce SAS application so these dash or various help this as own manager or last text code this says from we 10 you should use the win for their sign all right let's see what it does so basically we're asking it for it to build a SaaS application dashboard or an e-commerce similar to gumroad or lemon squeezy so as you can tell, it's writing the code. Uh, let's go back to the code base. And now it's up to 51 lines of code, a whole lot of code that is being written uh, without me doing anything. Let's go back to Bill. Uh, let's see it in, as you can see, it's building in real time exactly what we need. Um, 
So something went wrong. So there is an error. Let's see what the error is. Uh, it's still, still writing. So hopefully it faces itself. Now it's giving us a, a summary of what it did and what it's been built. And if there is an error, it will say, hi, it was fixed. As you can see, he's so dashboard as you can, you would have expected it to be. I has four different widgets at the top and two at the bottom, one for recent activity and one for quick actions, along with some data that you would want to try. It has a sidebar. The buttons are not functional, but it built something for us. Cool. Now we're going to add us to add a screen for the products. So let's see how it does. So now it's building, it's rebuilding the code base. It's actually building a brand new page. Should being a little bit more specific. I should have asked to add that screen to the same page. It's okay. That's something that we can add here in a moment. As you can tell, it's writing the code by itself. I'm not doing anything. Now it's explaining what it did. And link the menu proportion to this screen. All right. So now what we're doing is we're asking, Hey, use this screen and integrate it into the main dashboard because at the end of the day, that's what we need done. So it's a dashboard for other. So it looked like this building on the layout and rebuilding it. Now it's going to add it to the main dashboard file. And by the way, I'm not using paid plan right now. I'm only using the free plan that is available on V0 by Brazil. So this is not like I'm paying to use this. This is done for free. Of course they have a free plan, which is least restrictive, but this is definitely all right, still rebuilding this section. So you can see he's working on it. Okay. So he's still working on it. So we will allow it some time to be done with it. So we can make sure that everything work as expected. All right. The buttons are not working yet, but the system is still working. All right, let's see what is what you need to do to set up the routing. All right, so it's giving me instructions on exactly how I can get this done. So this, that's outside the scope of this video, because all we're doing is we're building on the code base here, so we can paste it into Bolt and later on because I didn't like the designs from V0 more than the ones from Bolt. So. But we're going to go back and we're going to do, as you can see, the whole code base is there. And all I would need to do is make sure that I am following the instructions to 
create some functionality that goes from one place to the other, that navigation functionality. But the design looked quite good. And if we take a look at the product page, it's there as well. So we even have a way to add a product, which is quite nice. Uh, there are some actions, so we can edit or delete. So we have, oh, we're in a solid place. Next thing I will do, not in this video, but next thing I will do is I will add the customer transaction analytics and settings. And that will give me enough to be able to build. Perhaps this is not the admin dashboard. This is the store dashboard. And that's what it looks more like to me than a super admin dashboard. Perhaps I need to define exactly what the super admin dashboard I uh, should look like. This is more like a store admin. But it's a great start. It's, it's a solid start to be able to build on top of this. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing with this zero. Just like I did this with simple prompts, you can build anything that you can think of. You just have to know how to prompt it and trial and error. I'm not a developer. So these to me look foreign because again, I'm not a developer, but you definitely can build anything nowadays with tools like V0, Boy.new, and some other tools that are there like course or Replit, among others. We have reached the end of this video. I hope that you like this video. And just as always, if you like the content that I'm putting out there, please consider liking, signal other people that it's a good video and it helps with the algorithm. And also subscribing to the channel. I will be posting more videos on not only about no code, but I'm exploring AI tools and seeing what is possible. And I will be sharing everything that I learned. Uh, next video will be about how to use some of the code that we generated in V0 and mm -hmm. Bolt and using that design and going from there, we're going to be using a fairly complete prompt that I am creating to ensure that we are having something out there that we can be proud of. That being said, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you being here with me watching this video and I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember, you don't have, you don't need to know how to code. You can create it with artificial intelligence, AI, or you can create it with no code tools like Bobo.io among others. So everything is possible. You just need to use some creativity.